So we've got the Hook Nook Yummy today, and I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. So we have, I'm gonna grab this one over here to show you this particular color um, is, oh, if I can find it, where are my colorways? At least I don't have it upside down. Precious Metals is this one. And it's uh, got some slubs in it on purpose, some extra little flux of color, kind of tweedy. We're not going to use this one today. Um, this is going to be in the second one of this where I use a bunch of the yarn together to make a blanket. I'll probably be making two projects because I don't think all five of the colors I have will go together nicely in one project. Uh, but this is yummy. It's a three and a half round, ounce 100 gram ball uh, or skein, 185 yards, 170 meters. And you can see here's all the symbols. Uh, they say a K hook. Now, you'll find the Nook Hook Nook, since they're all intended for crochet, um, you're not going to get an actual needle size. Um, so I've gone with a similar needle size to their hook uh, to attempt to get the same number of stitches and things. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I know that I tend to stitch a little tight, especially on my knitting, so we'll see, or loose on my knitting, so. Um, We'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go, six to seven. Uh, so you don't really get an exact needle size. That's what I was trying to find over here. It's not an exact needle size. Where most yarns give you an exact needle size, like they have a hook size, uh, they don't do that, which is fine. It is, again, a really intended for crochet. Uh, if you look at all of her products, they're all aimed at crochet. Now, I didn't use, I planned to use a hook nook hook for all of these, but I didn't have a K in her hooks. Um, and since the pandemic started, um, I did not get a chance to buy one. And I haven't, of course, been to a store in months. Um, so these were all sitting in my stash waiting to be worked through. So we're gonna work through a bunch. So this is the Yummy. It is a five bulky. I didn't find it terribly bulky. I would have put it more as a chunky yarn, um, but to each their own. I know there are rules and stuff. So here is, uh, this one is called, this one's Blue Sky, and this one is the gray with the silver. Uh, unfortunately, everyone around here cleans faster than I thought and already recycled my ball band for this one. It's like into the night or something like that. I'll put it down in the uh, description what the actual colorway is, is for this one. It's the gray and you can see the little silver wrap in there. This one has a wrap and this one called Little Black Dress. This one has a black shiny wrap on it. Those are the only two I saw with wraps when I bought them in the store. And here we can see it's kind of fuzzy. Now the blue is a little fuzzier than the gray. The gray doesn't have quite as much fuzz. And that's consistent with um, the black over here has a little less fuzz, little black dress. And here's the charcoal colored one. You can see it's got quite a bit of fuzz and the gray has quite a bit of fuzz. Um, so if you like a fluffy, fuzzy outside, uh, go for the ones that are not wrapped in the metallic thread. So let's look at how we did. So here is our 20 stitch scarf. I have it doubled over for ease of measuring. We started the one over here. We're measuring all the way over to here. It's about 26 and a half to 27 inches in half. So we're looking at, is that 50, 52, 53, 53, 54 inches long. Uh, it's got a lot of stretch. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of stretch. So don't have to worry about it being too tight. It's a yarn with a lot of give. And this, bring that a little higher. Let's bring this over here. One, all the way over to this corner. Now, I lost a game of yarn chicken here. You can see here's the start of my row around. Here's the end of my round. So only a few stitches short of finishing this. I could have probably frogged back a bit and actually finished it uh, by tightening up my gauge a little bit for my uh, 
tension a little bit on that last round or just doing like two in the top. Um, I could have easily made it there. So it is for one ball about 21 inches in diameter. So this is pretty good for the kind of yarn it is. Um, I actually was really impressed. I didn't have read much about the nook hook other than a hook nook. And I know it started with an independent person who, um, a woman who uh, is really good at crochet. So kudos to her. Uh, I will put you down in the description, a couple of links out to her uh, or their, the information about the nook hook, the hook nook. I keep saying it backwards. Uh, but you can see there's a couple other yarns. I have a few over here in my um, basket waiting to go. So we'll get those done. Ginormous. It looks hot and sweaty, so we might skip that one um, this season. And then small stuff in main squeeze, which look the same. I need to look them back up because um, they look to be about the same. I need to go back and, and see if I can get either more small stuff or see if main squeeze and small stuff are the same. Uh, but you can see they look pretty similar. Small stuff might be a little bit smaller. Uh, so those will be next in my list. And that is what I have for you today. I will have a second part where I combine this yarn and this yarn, and then this, this, and this into uh, two separate projects to see how they interact and what it looks like when you put multiple schemes together. Uh, if you're curious, I used this. Um, this is actually a needle from AC Moore, which isn't around anymore. They just went bankrupt at the end of 2019. Um, I think it was bankrupt. Well, they closed anyway. And now um, a lot of their stuff went in with Michaels. Michaels was their partner in York uh, as they closed. And then I used this K10, which I honestly don't know the brand. And sometimes you ask what brand hooks and needles I'm using. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't have a brand on it, which means it might have been um, a gift or part of a kit. Sometimes I end up with like kits and they don't have brands on their hooks. Um, so this could have ended up from a kit. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a pretty standard looking K hook. Well, thank you so much for joining me and have a great rest of your day.